Well, hello. I am using some craft paints. I, I very seldom pull out my craft paints, and I have a ton of them. So I decided, all right, let's pull some out. So I am using first some invisible glove. It's that stuff you put on your hand so you can finger paint, and it all comes off easily. And then I read the side of the bottle, and it says, does not protect from toxic chemicals. I'm like, oh, well, then it's not really a glove at all. It's just a easy hand soap pre-wash. It's like shout for your hands. Well, that's kind of pointless. So I'm still going to die if I'm using really good craft or uh, using really good acrylic paints that have, you know, toxic chemicals in them. So great. Thanks a lot, Invisible Glove. I looked for Art Garden. They didn't have any at Lick. So anyway, so I'm using two different colors. This pink one is the Shimmer Craft Paints. It's from the kid department at uh, Target. And it's just called Pink. And the blue one is. We're just going to call it blue because I think it's Robin's Egg Blue, if I'm not mistaken. They're pretty. Let's see, double checking, double checking. I don't think it's Ocean Breeze. Nope, not Ocean Breeze. So I'm just kind of smearing them together. Oh, it's called Turquoise. Turquoise. And um, then I took my paper towel over this hand cut chain link stencil and um, I'm just kind of smearing some of it away. I said smear twice, now that makes me want a bagel. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of taking some of it away and it's it gives me this really cool result because the paint's still wet. It kind of pools up around the stencil and creates a dimension. So at first I thought I was just going to leave it like that and then I end up doing this to it. And this is the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Black Velvet, and it I blotted some of it up so that it's just kind of a ghosted color. I wanted to use tinsel, but my tinsel Heidi Swap Color Shine was not spraying, so. Uh, this is just a piece of dictionary paper, just straight from a dictionary. It's not an old dictionary, it's just a dictionary. And um, But it's got that really thin paper, so I sprayed it down really, really well with water and then started ironing. As you can see, my iron had some schmutz on it. I think it was... Boy, I'm talking like I'm Jewish today. Um, schmutz and schmear. And so um, Jennifer's maiden name is, is a Jewish name, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, so I just ironed it, and it just gave it some texture and... Um, just kind of change the consistency of the paper. So then I ran it through my sewing machine, as you can see, and then I added some gel medium, uh, it's matte medium, on the back. And um, I didn't want to put the gel medium onto the page as it would have reactivated the Heidi Swap color shine. So that's why I just put it straight onto the paper. And then once that was down, I added a layer on top and cut off the ends. This page is really quick. It didn't take me very long, maybe half an hour yesterday, maybe 45 minutes. Um, but again, it did what it needed to do. I I, I kind of can't stress that enough with art journaling. You know, we oftentimes spend so much time trying to find the right thing for the right page, and you know, as long as it does what it needs to do for you, and this one did what it needed to do, and I'll get into that in a minute. And it's not sad for once. This was not a sad page. Hooray! Uh, so as you can see, I just added some Liquitex Basics purple paint. I want to say it's deep violet. And um, I just almost kind of created a wash by just smearing it with my finger and then wiping some of it up with a damp cloth. And then I had a little bit of chicken wire left over from a previous page that my friend Monica sent me, and I wanted to use that, and I had some of these beads laying around, and that black one in the middle says a door, and it's gold, but the other ones are s silver, and I'm like, that's okay, mixing metals is fun. So I'm using jump rings to hook everything together, and then what I end up doing is I use the jump rings to hook the beads to the chicken wire. So I just reopened them because see they fit like perfectly in those little holes of the chicken wire. So I just um, attached the beads to the chicken wire using jump rings. Since it's so hard to uh, to attach chicken wire to paper unless you're sewing it down or because uh, it's just so thin and it's not flat. And 
So I thought this would be good. I can use the jump rings to attach the beads to the chicken wire and then glue down the beads and that will hold the chicken wire in place. I know. Smart, right? Yeah. So I'm using matte medium to glue these down. And I think it's regular matte medium, this one is. And poof, they're done. Let's see. I'll get into the story of behind this page in just a second, but uh let's see, what are what are, what are we doing folks? I see nothing. I see nothing. Well I can see it, but I'm not doing anything, so Oh, okay. So grabbing my favorite white marker in the whole wide world ever, in the history of white markers, ever, ever, ever. Anyone ever asks me what white marker to get? This one. The Molotov, Molotow, M-O-L-O-T-O-W. I've heard it said both different ways. So um, it's fantastic. Best white marker ever. Um, it's an acrylic marker, so you don't have to worry about writing on top of acrylic. It um, has a nice fine nib on it. It writes beautifully. Uh, it very seldom skips. It's I cannot recommend this this marker enough. And this should be on my supply list. So, um, so what, what I'm writing this page, um, it, that little emblem thing in the center said a door, and then I wrote I adore, I wrote I and you underneath and on top of, or that's backwards, but whatever. So it says I adore you, and um, my sister and I and my wife all love Drag Race more so me and my sister. I kind of have to force my wife, but. Um, one of the drag queens on that show is her name's Adore Delano, and my sister loves her, and she loves the song that that Adore has called "I Adore You," and I adore my sister. So this entire page is about my sister, uh, and I was writing just a little bit about uh, family and what she means to me, and how lucky I am to have her. So that's that's what the little free journaling was in the center there. I was thinking about adding something else to these little flaps because I'm like right in the center of this signature, which is why there's two of these little flaps. And um, yeah, no, I just kind of liked it the way it was. And by the way, I started this page with masking tape up and down the middle and gesso. I didn't have the footage of that, so sorry. This is more of the regular gel medium and a um, an Umwow Studio stencil. And I am just smearing some of that gel medium through there. And as you can see, the first time I messed up, so I had to scrape some of it up. This ends up kind of becoming a hot mess for me at points because I keep sticking my fingers in the wet gel medium. I'm like a bull in a china shop sometimes. Well, I'm a Taurus, so I'm a Taurus in a sh china shop. There you go. So... As you can see, I had to do this a couple different times because I kept messing up. I don't know why. It's not like it's the first time I've ever stenciled, but there you go. And I just wanted to add these random corners of stars in the, well, imagine this, corners. And um, then I'm going to add up sprinkling a little bit of glitter on top. And the glitter I got from the dollar store, so yeah, you're not going to see that in the supply list because, yeah, it was just dollar store glitter. But it was pretty. It was like purple and silver all at the same time. It was such a perfect color for this page. And I had so little left by the time I was done, I, I just threw the rest of it away. I didn't even bother keeping it. So I know it looks a hot mess right there, um, but I, I wanted to wait until it was dried to brush away all the excess, which I did. The bottom left corner, it gets so messed up, I keep sticking my, my finger in it because I added just a little bit of hot glue to help those metal pieces stay until the gel medium set, and I kept sticking my finger in the stars, so a couple of the stars are messed up, but that's okay. Embrace those imperfections. So... There, there it is. I adore you. 
So I, I think it, it came out really pretty, and, and it didn't take me very long. Proof that you don't have to spend days and days and days on an art journal page. Just get stuff down, get it out, and it'll be fabulous. I promise. So I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. New videos every Sunday, or most Sundays. Talk to you later. Bye.